future with your Capricorn. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, this could resonate for your sun, moon, rising or Venus. It's timeless. And if you'd like to comment, like and subscribe on these videos, I really appreciate it so we can grow as a family and evolve as a family. So um, with that being said, let's get into the message. Please remember this won't resonate for every Capricorn as well. So <clears throat> I'm talking to a big pleaser, okay? Like maybe you like to please in a lot of different ways. Um, I feel like you're a big giver, but you give from a place of balance, right? You are someone with a fucking enormous heart. Um, and I'm getting that in your recent past, you definitely conquered some kind of fear. I felt very cold to pull these cards out for you guys. Um, you have attained some kind of success, whether this is just happiness within yourself or actual material success, because you conquered a fear, right? You conquered some fears around success, right? And, and this is the beautiful thing, because in the future position, we have deserving. So it's like your consciousness, your consciousness has shifted, right? You are understanding that you deserve success. You deserve to be successful. Um, and I just heard trendsetter. Um, and you've overcome some type of fear that you had in the past. And it's basically got you exploding. Look at you. It's like you're exploding with love, with light. And you've been doing this for a while. Okay, now some of you, I'm getting that you move, even if you have fear, like you still do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't give a shit. <laughs> you don't care what other people are thinking or whose toes you're stepping on anymore at this point. I feel like that's what's going on. Because I feel like your energy is an energy that is very much so desired by other people, right? Like if you notice, these people are like hungry for what you're giving, and it's not to say that you're cocky, but I'm feeling like whoever you are, you have some kind of status quo that you're taking steps towards. And that is your intention or that is the cycle that you are in at this moment in time. So you have, I'm getting, you have a very addictive energy. Okay, so we're going to see like what is going on um, with the tarot for you guys. So far, this is pretty, uh, pretty high vibrational energy. Oh, shit. You're a very abundant person, okay? <clears throat> You're attracting in generational wealth. Whoever I'm reading for now, I'm getting a, a, a strange pain in my left knee. So, like I'm saying, some of you, there was some kind of... That, to me, is a subconscious resistance to moving forward. And it always has been like a superstition of mine, and it's my intuition. So, <clears throat> you guys have basically cleared a subconscious resistance to moving forward and being successful, um, or you're clearing it right now from your energy field. Holy shit, you are healing. Your shadow self is healing. That's where that just fell out in. <clears throat> so, yeah, you may be getting ready to speak up more. Um, you may be getting ready to share your passion more, um, start new projects, start new beginnings. And you're going to see, like, you're going to actually see the shift in your consciousness by the things that you're about to start attracting into your life, okay? I'm seeing some of you actually could have done some type of shadow work or just overcoming fears, maybe even listening to to uh, affirmations that help you overcome fear or just the actions that you've been taking is programming your subconscious to overcome fear one way or another and... Yeah, you're taking the trash out. Shit, some ladies over there taking the trash out, right? You guys are taking out the, the trash out of your mind, the fear out of your mind. Um, and I see that for some of you, you know, like, oh, there's a big, some of you are really, this fear may come from sort of like a imposter syndrome, like feeling like you're not worthy or not deserving of what you deserve. And you're about to realize that you deserve everything that's coming for you because, your status is increasing or whatever steps you're taking is increasing your status. Um, I'm healing, re healing real estate. Um, so some of you could be real estate or flip houses. Um, some of you may, uh, some of you may be like on social media as well. Like you just, you're born to shine, right? And you know this and it's like, it's deep in your mind. Like in, in the back of your mind, you know, you're a star, you know, you're, if you're not a star, it's like you're a sun. Like you're here to shine and you're here to shine very bright, right? I'm here to twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like an angel in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Like people could wonder what the fuck you are. Like who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh my God. 
where the fuck did you come from? Apologies for my language, but people are thinking this. Like, meanwhile, you you deal with this like freaking imposter syndrome shit, man. Like, what is going on here? So, you guys are people that have been investing a lot into something. Um, you know, I see you've got your eye on a project or an eye on a on a pentacle, right? This could be something that you want to do in the material realm, something you've got experience in, but you may have to build upon it, right? And to do this, you you kind of, you're going to have to step on some toes, right? You're going to have to step on some toes. You're going to have to be like pretty savage, you know? And not every successful person in this world is a savage bee, but it's kind of, to, to some extent, it's necessary, you know? Because there's so many forces, there's so many crabs in a bucket that don't want you to see that you deserve what you deserve and everything that you work for and everything that you're taking steps toward, right? You're like royalty, look at you. You're, you're walking into your kingdom right now. Capricorn, you want some fucking fire shit, Capricorn. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps all over my body. So look, your intention in life is to genuinely follow your heart. And because you've been doing that, you are going to see a massive shift in your reality. Because as within, so without. Um, I just do get that, you know, some of you, you could be almost like taking a bit of a, maybe you're not as active or uh, uh, extroverted as you have been in the past. Or maybe you're taking some kind of pause or you're taking time out that you have to reflect on where to invest your energy next is what I'm getting because you you are actually you're reaping a lot of rewards even at this moment in time for some kind of steps you've taken I'm talking to a very successful person that is that is manifesting so much abundance right but sometimes you may get like a bit of anxiety or that's where these fears are coming from right anxiety about particularly the public eye for some of you right it's okay to be seen it's okay to be seen you're safe to be seen affirm that to yourself and that's very affirming to your root chakra as well i'm safe to be seen you know what i mean it's it's okay um and you can keep it pushing because oh shit that's some pretty dope lit, lit energy all right we got 737 maybe very significant for you guys okay I'm getting there could even be a relationship. Now, this is going to be very specific for some of you, but you've got somebody in your energy that I'm getting is a snake, all right? Um, let's find, let's see if we can find out some more about this person. Oh, man, it's making my knee go crazy. This is someone very, very, very stubborn, okay? That they're fucking so stubborn. Their inner child is broken. Um, they need healing. But this person is assigned to you for whatever reason. Um, but they're definitely doing shady shit in your energy, right? Somebody as successful as you, this may be someone that you, someone as successful as you is going to attract all sorts of, all sorts of snakes and stuff, right? This person is trying to sap your resources or sap your life force out of you. You may be feeling someone pulling on your energy a lot. Um, but this is someone that you've, you've gone on a vacation from, you've concluded, you've walked away from this person. <sighs> Right? Maybe you were going to travel to this person or they were going to travel to you and that's not happening, right? Because, holy fuck, you got this mother load in. You've cracked the matrix, Capricorn. Whoever I'm talking to, you are attracting in so much prosperity, so much success. You're going to have the upper hand, the advantage, right? And all you're doing here is overcoming some fears. That's all you're doing. And then you got somebody here siphoning your motherfucking energy over here. Like, what? Right? This person is lost as... They're on a spiritual quest, but they're very lost. And, you know, they prefer to steal from you. They prefer to siphon your energy, right? This person tried to eclipse you out. They tried to overshadow you, overshine you, but it's not going to happen. Like Spirit says, it is not going to happen. Um, this person is probably going to end up going through a spiritual awakening. Because what they're doing is they're not doing research. Whoever this copycat is for some of you, they're not doing their research. They're just... They're not heeding to the call of their inner knowing. You know what I mean? They're just copying other people. And I guess like this person is going to be exposed to you eventually if you don't know who they are. But they are trying to fucking eclipse you out. Like, what a fool. What, what a fool. Like, oh my God. That just makes me want to laugh. Like, it makes me want to laugh so hard. 
You know why? Because you are a crack shot. You are a superior at what you do. Okay? And it's not to say you're the fucking best in the whole world. Like, okay? But it's like you're very effective. You're very talented. When you want to go something, you get your eye on the target and you go freaking shoot that target down. Bullseye, baby. <clears throat> it's a bullseye. It's a bullseye. Right? You're very skilled. You're very skilled and you are destined to excel in whatever area you are in currently. Um, there's rapid growth coming towards you, new beginnings. You're going to be continuing the legacy that you've already built. Um, and so you've got some people that are very needy of your energy, right? And I feel like a lot of people are very needy of your energy, but most people are in sync with you because you're a leader, right? Whoever this snaky person is, oh my gosh, a copycat there. They, got, they, they are going to get exposed, right? This could be someone in a higher position as well or someone that has a business or a CEO, right? Oh, fuck. Could be could have water in their chart as well. Could be an Aries. Um, this may be someone that claims to love you, but you may have cut this person out either energetically or actually. Um, and what I'm getting is... Some of you are also, you've got two options, Capricorn. You may have two options. You've got divine masculine, divine feminine connection coming in. And some of you have like somebody that wants to offer you their heart, offer you love. They want to commit to you, right? This could be an earth angel coming in. Um, right? This may be someone you're going to go into business with. So I, I would just say be a bit cautious about who you're going to commit to emotionally because I see there could be a third party like disruption so you got to be careful with your judgments and judgment calls that you're making at this time <laughs> right you got to boot out whoever needs to go whoever's toxic cut them out keep it pushing because there's a lot of crabs in the bucket i feel in this energy that want to drag you down to an old paradigm or keep you stuck in fear and stop you from evolving so level up baby we evolving remember to like and subscribe love you